Hey, what is going on everybody? This is Matt and Vinick. It's Friday and it's my upload day. I'm pretty excited to get this episode going. And what I'm actually going to be showing today is not some top player raids, but I'm going to be showing some of my own raids from my series Marathon to 3600. They're not going to go on my main channel because I've actually uh, sort of lost a bunch of defenses lately and it's kind of pointless putting this one out because the trophies would just drop back to the previous episode. But the raids are still really good. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first one. I do have level 30 heroes now. I'm not sure if I ever mentioned that on this channel. But if you weren't aware, there you go. And uh, they're pretty beast. I am not looking forward to upgrading them to 40 anytime soon. Uh, they're pretty good at level 30, I have to say. I mean, that was just really the kind of the sweet spot. It's a good uh, deal for your money. Not really, but it is. <laughs> and uh, you don't really have to get them to level 40. So yes, anyways, the town hall was taken down on this base. This is one of the favorite, my favorite bases to attack, either with Go Wee Wee or Go Wipe. As you see, as long as you get the P.E.K.K.A. and the heroes to go somewhat towards the center, uh, they get that town hall pretty easily. And now all I'm waiting for is the 50%, which is uh, not so far away because look at that huge compartment that the troops just entered. There's a bunch of percentage points in there. And uh, the Queen is also going to the other compartment, so they're kind of splitting off, which is a good thing at this point since they're sort of sharing the percentage points. And uh, we have one more percent to go. There we go, and uh, let's see. Ooh, okay, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and let these troops go around the base and uh, see if they can go ahead and uh, pick up any extra stuff. So I actually was expecting myself to end it there, but I didn't. So yes, they got a little bit more resources, not too much, but still that is pretty close to 100%, eh, 22% away, eight cups. Okay, resources, but mostly it was for the trophies. Here's the next base. This is an automatic attack for me every single time. This is one of the easiest bases I've ever uh, gotten to attack. It's It seems uh, sort of difficult at first, but realistically all you have to do is break the first, I mean, two, three walls. Then you send in all your troops into this one compartment. Literally all your troops, heroes, golems, P.E.K.K.A., wall breakers, wizards. And uh, once they get up to that last wall, you drop the rage spell just like I did. Now I waited out for all those minions to get out of the clan castle. I wasn't sure if they were going to be witches. And it's very important to get the witches. I mean, if, um, say, I don't know how many minions would come out, but then the two witches would jump out, I would definitely drop the lightning spell on the witches. Because skeletons are more dangerous to my army than uh, the... Or I guess not skeletons, the witches themselves are more dangerous to my army because they keep regenerating troops. Minions, they can be killed off by my Archer Queen while um, the skeletons, they just keep making and making and making. So anyways, SEC was able to pick up the 50%, which is not always possible. I had a lot of difficulties with my level 20 heroes uh, doing so, but as you see, that's 11 trophies for me, 2 stars and over 50%. Up next we have a guy from Chinatown, and uh, this base I was sort of... Uh, thinking quite a long time whether I should attack from the bottom sort of looked easier on the bottom because of the walls But at the same time if you take another look There's just less buildings on the top and even though the town hall is very well centered on this base And I guess you could attack from the sides But I didn't want to deal with that and I sent all my uh, heroes golems and uh, P.E.K.K.A Right down that middle alley and as you see the wall breakers were able to break all three walls and even more now the P.E.K.K.A are all in the center and um you have to watch out for that clan castle. A lot of wizards. There are some witches in there too. So uh, if I wouldn't have actually dropped a lightning spell right there, that would have ended pretty uh, bad for me. Probably wouldn't have been able to pick up the town hall nor pick up the 50%. All right. So uh, sorry about that. I have my uh, phone going off here. Let me fix that uh, real quick. Oops. All right. Here we go. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, so it looks like we picked up the 50% uh, by the time I was done uh, muting my phone. Once again, 11 trophies. And I have no idea what, uh, what uh, trophy count I'm doing this at. I think it was uh, around, let's say, 4,485-ish. Somewhere around that range. Uh, I know it's very close to that. So yes, here is our next base. A somewhat similar town hall placement to the previous one. And some somewhat similar design. Uh, format, but not exactly the same, not even close, but same kind of strategy here. We're actually going to attack on the bottom because the town hall this time is definitely closer to the bottom than the top, uh, but it's still quite centered. Now here my king and one of the P.E.K.K.A.s went off, which wasn't a great thing, and uh, this is actually one of the raids that got pretty close. I was pretty nervous on this one, and I only knew that my queen right there was the only troop that was going to get that town hall. 
And even though we only have a level 17 queen versus a level 30, and we still have that multi-target inferno, that cannon, that expo, and uh, once I saw that uh, she got in the range of that inferno and the uh, enemy queen, I went ahead and dropped the free spawn there to be safe about it. And I do not think I'm going to be able to pick up 50% on this one. Now, I have no idea why I still haven't ended the raid. Oh, you know what? I know why. I was watching Landon's stream. Uh, <laughs> yes, I was watching Noteworthy Games on Twitch at the moment, and I totally forgot to end the raid. I just let it go on because I was probably replying to someone. Yes, so that is only three cups for me. Not too much, but I think this was a really extended search or something like that. I'm pretty impatient once it gets over 20 minutes, uh, so I just go and attack some kind of base that I find. Alright, so up next, um, sort of a crab base, not really though, kind of an interesting design, but the wall levels are pretty darn low, so it's like two wall breakers per wall, uh, I mean per section, I guess, if you if you could, if you would, and uh, there we go, we have some rage spell and the wall breakers, and uh, wall breakers and rage spell are really good combinations, uh, they speed them up, uh, they blow up faster, I think, I'm not sure if that's true, but I think they do, because uh, Inferno seem to struggle about it, and uh, here, I love to do this on crab bases, I drop uh, free spells on the entire core. Sort of, um, I sort of dropped them a little too high, I could have also froze the expo with them. But that's okay, as you see I was able to pick up the 50%, or uh, excuse me, the town hall. Uh, I was watching those barbarians run after the barbarian king, what is it, he deploys now, I think... He, he deploys like uh, 30 barbarians at level 40. I'm not exactly sure, but I think that was 20 barbarians running after a level 30 king. That's two stars, 14 cups, and that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this episode, so make sure you subscribe to The Clash Army right down below. It's free, as well as check out the description for everybody who uh, sort of runs this channel and collaborates. So subscribe to them as well, and uh, make sure you like this video and comment down below of any thoughts you have about the gameplay, any questions, I will be glad to answer them. That's all guys, make it a great clash time or not, the choice is yours.